The Borg, unstoppable, implacable, fearless. They own thousands of planets and millions of ships if you trust Dialog. Their ships have shields capable of absorbing 1.56 petatons before being destroyed. That number is from the Voyager episode Scorpion, where two Borg ships are destroyed by debris from a blown up planet. This number is an upper limit because the Borg ships did not last long in the debris. Their weapons, however, measure only in the 10 to 100 megaton range. We know this because Borg are generally unable to kill Federation ships in one shot, and it seems Federation ship shields are in the 300 megaton range. But the Borg may have more firepower than this. Remember, they don't want to completely destroy their targets, else there is nothing for them to assimilate. The Borg possess a variety of shield draining and cutting weaponry. Borg ships are able to travel 35,000 light years in a matter of minutes. At that rate, they could cross the galaxy in an hour, while the other sources state it would take about a day. The Borg's strength lie in their adaptability and assimilation abilities along with tremendous firepower. They can assimilate a member of a target species and then gain the knowledge from it, and could probably reverse engineer ships very quickly. While some may say the Borg could not do this because if Leonardo da Vinci was given the, uh, the instructions to create a modern tank, he would not be able to do it. However, I disagree. Instead, if we gave Leonardo da Vinci the technology and parts to create tanks and the knowledge to use that technology, he would certainly be able to create a tank. That is a good analogy for the Borg. The reason we do not see the Borg use other people's ships is because their technology is superior to the technology they are encountering. The Borg also have the ability to share life energy and they have cloaked devices, but do not use them. We know they have cloaking technology because they assimilated a Romulan outpost. The Borg do have weaknesses, however. They are unprepared for the undying and prepared and predicted defeat within the next few weeks after losing only eight planets over a five month period. Even if we assume that number was only referring to the last attack, doing the math in as generous a manner as possible would seem to result in a board nation size of only three hundred planets and one thousand two hundred ships given the lack of attacks. Perhaps the undying victories were er increasing exponentially. Even then, given these proportions, if we assume the Borg have 9,000 worlds, they still have less than a million ships. However, we can explain this by uh, assuming different Borg worlds are guarded differently. Perhaps the Borg our ships were clustered around the capitals or the transwarp conduits openings. <clears throat> Borg have to stay in warp to lay transwarp conduits, and warp is far slower, taking many years to cross our galaxy. Borg are also described as lacking cre tactical creativity and finding it difficult to create their own technology. In conclusion, the Borg are a deadly force utilizing speed, adaptability, and reverse engineering to defeat their opponents. They are only hampered by problems with thinking outside the box innovativeness and having to explore very slowly.